What's up everybody, Pelican Trapper here. Today we're gonna do a, a short, hopefully, but informative review on Vapor Watch. So I wanna start out um, just by talking a little bit of history about my smoke experience. I got the Pure Smoke when it came out and I was doing my very first news interview on live television. And I got the Pure Smoke, it didn't work, sent it back, got a new one, it worked. I was testing it five minutes before I was to go on stage, and it worked. But when I got on stage, I was doing Paul Harris's voodoo card trick with permission from him, of course. Thank you, Paul. And it would have looked so beautiful at the end to have the smoke coming out of uh, mine and the spectator's hands. And what do you know? No smoke. And I was mic'd up, and you could hear a little. It wasn't, you know, very noticeable. I'm sure nobody noticed it, but to uh, magicians and people that know it was there, like me, uh, you can definitely notice it. And the clips on my YouTube, you can uh, go check that out if you want to. Um, but anyways, yeah. So let's talk about Vapor Watch. So here is the watch. Very sexy. You can check the demo for uh, some more glamour, some better glamour shots of it. Um, the timepiece does work. The date and the three other little dials don't work. Uh, you're not gonna have a problem with that. Nobody's ever gonna call you out on that though. Uh, these do spin though, so uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, the timepiece comes off like this, and Sans Minds is always opposite. It's to the right to take things off. Righty Lucy, lefty tidy. And inside you can see, so you got the timepiece with the battery. Little tip, the uh, the battery is a Sony battery. It will not be hard to source. Uh, Sands Mines already offers them for $7, even though they're out of stock right now. But if you want to save on the battery, just pop it out and put it in if you want to uh, during your show. And you'll, the battery will last you for years and years, I'm sure. Uh, that is the cartridge where the smoke goes in. Smoke refills are all vegetable based. That's what they look like. Little syringes. This is why they had some problems with shipping and customs. Um, <clears throat> I've had a few different things happen to me. Um, when you're filling it up, just because of the nature of your squeezing, the liquid and the air bubbles, sometimes it'll you'll think it's full, but it's not. It'll just be kind of a bubble at the top, so you got to kind of poke at it and uh, make sure to get it full. I read a few things online that um, I think Alan Rorison said that, you know, you don't want to fill it all the way up. Uh, on the video, Will says that you do want to fill it all the way up. And I have put a whole cartridge inside of here, and it's worked very well. So uh, I'm just going to oh, oh, almost drop it there. Pop this back on like so. And that's another cool thing is you can pop this off, turn it upside down, and pop it on the other way, and then that makes it, you know, and then you can put their watch on your right wrist. So I'm going to pop it back on normal. Got a beautiful uh, Sands of Mind butterfly there. Uh, this is the repositioner, the little piece that you get that they describe, I think this is the piece that won't be, you know, in the mass production kit or something. Um, what this allows you to do is basically, I know it's a little bit hard to see. You can see where my tube's running down the watch and it's coming out right there. And the positioner just holds it right there. So the tube's not moving anywhere. And it's a positioner and also a repositioner because what you can do is in the middle of your show, if you want smoke to come from uh, your forearm instead of your hand, you can just slide the tube out, turn it around and slide it out this way. And that allows you to not have to cut the uh, a little notch in the watch for the tube to come through. And it also comes out of the same spot of the watch. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is take this. I'm going to turn it on. 
you're gonna hear a little buzz that lets you know it's on very nice now, i don't know about you guys but my vapor actually never stopped working like some of you guys probably have problems with your vapor i know there's the prop dog hack uh hated my pure smoke uh but my vapor never stopped working so um i was happy about that and i do not think that this is ever going to stop working either so we're going to slide this on my wrist here all right cool i'm gonna do a little comparison here these are some watches that you know just daily watches that i've owned over the years you can see just some size comparisons you know and this is a funny one <laughs> Yeah, I was like, Shh, why would I be worried about the vapor watch? I used to rock this thing. Sometimes I still do. Uh, this is my daily watch. This is a Samsung Galaxy S3 Frontier. And you can actually see when I lay it over, it's basically the same size. So there's that. That is on. You get your remote. Boom. Click it on. Let you know that it's on. Goes off. Bam. Uh, you get seven refills with uh, one box, one, one unit, which is not a lot. And refills are kind of expensive. That's why I would suggest getting the collector's package and uh, you get free refills at that. Um, you do get, you know, I haven't tested it. I haven't counted the puffs. You know, I like long puffs, like uh, minute long puffs. Are you supposed to get like 103 second puffs? Um, but you can also get up to a minute of smoke and the pump itself is silent. Okay. But there is a little bit of noise. I know people hate it, hate it, but it's true. A little bit of noise to see if we can pick it up. Oh, would you look at that? All right. Well, there is a kink in my tube. This is my fault. Nothing to do with the vapor. That just means that the tube is coming out at a right angle and it's got just a little pinch in it. So all I've got to do is just do a minor adjustment and then boom, there you go. But you can hear it. I don't know where the mic is on this. Uh, I just got this computer, but uh, there's a definite sound there. All right, so we're going to pop this back on. But if you're a real performer, you'll know that you're not going to hear that shit. If you're in a venue, music, people talking, uh, ambient, even noise, car, traffic, whatever, you know. Um, but <laughs> sadly, I'm not going to be able to do this for my mom in a silent room because she's going to be like, oh, I heard something, blah, blah, blah. You know how moms are, your biggest, toughest uh, fans, critics, whatever. All right, <clears throat> so here we go. All right, this is my fault again. All right. It just has to do with the way that I... Trying to set this up on the fly, which is, I don't know, I'm just making excuses. There's nothing wrong with the watch. It's just because there was a small kink in the tube, possibly because of uh, I had these little pieces too far over, squeezing the watch down a little bit too much. But there's nothing wrong with it. Let's see if we can do this here. There we go. There's no traces. And I love this. So you can actually do, you can get quite a bit of smoke here. So let's. I know you can't see. Oh, there we go. And I'm holding this down for a long time. Lots of smoke. It's beautiful. It's looking for a black background. I know this Mega Man shirt's not the best. It looks good. Upwards. Okay. 
Perfect. And there you have it. I'm going to check and see if there's any little questions. Uh, yeah, you get the USB charger, uh, the wall charger, um, the armband. Um, yeah, there's the toe switch thing. Uh, that's uh, to each their own. Um, but you can, I encourage you to get creative with uh, places to put the remote because I don't, I don't really like the armband, but uh, I mean, it's, it's perfect, you know, but all right. Now I'm thinking too much, talking too much. I'm just looking at questions, see if there's anything else. Yeah. Get the collector's package. If you get it, um, the box, um, make sure you register your warranty. You only get three days, which it, you can't even like, it tells you to register your warranty right here. And it's just white on the white on white. You can kind of miss it. Uh, I have another. Don't know where I put it, but there's another piece of paper that tells you. You know, log on to this website, and this is where you'll find uh, the information. I uh, don't know if it tells you uh, to register or not, but damn, all right. Yeah, but just make sure you register your watch. Make sure you get it. Go, actually, don't get it. Don't go get this watch because uh, I want to be the, one of the only ones out there with it. You know, but if you do go get it, get the collector's package. Get you two of them, and uh, you'll love it. So uh, peace out.